Thank you guys for joining us today on Instinctive Addiction. Got a good one for you today. As always, we try to answer questions as they come in the very best that we possibly can. And uh, one of the questions that has been asked is pertaining, of course, to instinctive shooting in particular. How do you shoot short distance and long distance the same? Okay, is there anything different that you have to do to, to maintain groups and, and actually be accurate at long distance versus short distance shooting? And when I say short distance, I mean generally 10, 15, 20 yards. Okay, my answer really is no. It's all about form. You've got to keep your form. It's all about your form and completing your pro shot process. Okay, now on that same note, every arrow has a different trajectory and you have to know your equipment in other words whatever arrows you're going to shoot and i highly recommend setting up your your rig with hunting weight arrows to begin with i don't recommend shooting ultralight 3d target arrows and then trying to switch over if you're an instinctive shooter because it's a little harder to adapt to that because you learn the trajectory of your arrows uh, and, and where they begin to drop, and you naturally know how to compensate for that at your long distances, okay? If you're gap shooting, it doesn't matter because you can set any arrow up and use it for an aiming tool, and it'll work in any situation because every arrow is going to be different and your point on is going to be different. Okay, now let's deal with something different here today. I want to deal with what is called split vision, okay? Split vision. Guys, I, I recommend anything that works for you. Whatever you can be accurate with and you can be most effective is what you need to do, okay? No matter what, it's all good. It's traditional, no matter what. But split vision is kind of the compromise, if you, for lack of better words, between gap shooting and instinctive, pure, totally instinctive. It's kind of that compromise. And if you're able to do it, it's a very, very good tool. And, and the way that it works versus the way that I shoot, which being totally instinctive, I strictly glue my eye to where I want to hit. I draw back to anchor. I try to execute my shot and make it happen just doing that, okay? But split vision is where you're focused on the target, but yet your peripheral pays very close attention to the arrow without staring at the arrow or focusing on the arrow itself. In other words, it's almost kind of a blur, but yes, you can see it. And even shooting instinctive, yes, in my subconscious, I can see where my arrow's at and, and my body naturally knows, you know, if it's lined up or if it's not right and left. I don't use it for elevation, but split vision, you can. You can actually look at a target, focus on that spot, and at the same time, pay attention to where your arrow is at. So it's kind of a in the middle type shooting style. And, and there are lots of people that do that. But I want to try to help you with pure instinctive, totally instinctive, if that's what you want to do. Okay, so shooting close and shooting long really shouldn't be any different. It really shouldn't because once you execute your shot right at close distance and you execute it right at long distance, it should be there. And it all comes with practice, absolutely comes with practice. So I'm going to demonstrate just a couple of shots here to show you today, uh, close and far. Okay, I've got a bag target here that is 15 yards. Then I have got the deer target out there, which is 36 yards from where I'm at now. I've got me a little marker right here. So I always know where that 36 and not because it's anything special. It just happened to work out at 36 yards right here where I'm set up to shoot right now. Okay, so I'm gonna shoot up a, a close one and show you guys. And then I'm gonna shoot the long one and that I don't really do anything different and neither do you have to. You just gotta focus on exactly where you want to hit and your muscle memory will take over and it will make the shot happen. You don't have to worry about how to elevate the bow. It, it's something you naturally learn with your setup, with your bow, with the arrows that you're shooting. Okay, here we go, close shot. All right, see that one's right in the little spot. That's easy. And when you shoot long distance a lot, the short shots seem to become way easier. They do. So that's why I practice a lot of long shots. Okay, so the doe target out there, 36 yards. Same exact thing. Bingo. Okay, that's exactly how you do it. Now, I'll give a follow-up shot here. 
just to show you guys on the long one. Right there, right in there. Okay, so that being the case, that's, that's my best explanation of this. If you're an instinctive shooter, it does not matter what the distance is. It makes no difference whatsoever. When you learn to hit up close, focusing on that little spot you want to hit, that tiny little spot, envisioning that arrow hitting there, more or less just drilling through that hole with your eye, come to anchor, use your back tension, get a good smooth release. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. But you got to practice it. So start out short, master that, back up in maybe five yard increments until you can hold your group at those uh, different distances and as i mentioned before the number one thing you cannot do is over bow yourself do not try to shoot too many pounds or it will be next to impossible any kind of style that you're using because you just can't really hold it where it needs to go you've got to get that poundage that's got enough energy to really cast those arrows but not wear you out at the same time and where you'll get fatigued and start getting sloppy and lose your form because that's the number one thing that causes inaccuracy in traditional shooting. So today's bows, if you get a quality bow, whether it's a custom bow, an ILF setup with good carbon bamboo limbs, whatever the case may be, they're going to perform anywhere between 40 and 50 pounds. They're going to perform with the right arrow almost identical they're going to do plenty so you don't have to worry about that so i hope this has helped you guys uh get out there and practice start it close move your way on out and just have fun god bless you thank you for joining us all right